Hey guys, it's Elisa here and today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute and super easy DIY fabric ornaments so that you can decorate your own Christmas tree uh, or maybe make these as a gift. Uh, these are very easy to make. These are lightweight. I actually made them a few years in a row for my own Christmas tree and I'll tell you this. Um, if you have cats or dogs or any other animals or small kids, these are perfect. Why? Because these are, um, these are small, these are lightweight weight. Um, you don't have to worry about if somebody bumps into a tree and knocks all the ornaments off or anything like that. Plus, it's a great way how you can utilize your beautiful fabric scraps. So, let's get started. What you're going to need for this is a pair of paper scissors, fabric scissors, Sharpie. You're going to need some fabric remnants. Um, I suggest for you to use um, a fabric that is close to like cotton or wa waxed uh, um, cotton or something sturdier than just uh, flowy silks or silk-like fabrics. I do have um, a little piece of flowy fabric over here just because I'm not going to have enough of this piece to cut out my little um, kind of like a little hanger strip. So this is what I'm going to use that to substitute that. A piece of paper to cut out our template and uh, of course some um, some pin needles a little bit of stuffing you really don't have to have a lot of it uh, and by the way you can actually uh, skip this step altogether and just shred your little um, fabric remnants um, and use that as a stuffing as well and of course a sewing machine but you can uh, these are so small that you can actually um, hand stitch these and these will be just perfect it, and by the way guys, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's a lot of good stuff coming up on this channel. It's all about crafting and DIY and sewing. Also a lot of useful um, tips and tricks about crafting your own handmade capsule wardrobe. And I'm always happy to see new people over here that gain inspiration and love for everything crafty. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started on these ornaments. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to ha get your uh, piece of paper, fold it in half, and you're gonna draw a heart template. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, and it can be any other shape. It doesn't have to be a heart. It can be uh, round, it can have a Christmas tree shape, it can have um, icicle shape, whatever shape you desire. Um, I prefer hearts, I think they're just cute, and they remind me of like, old school European um, uh, gingerbread cookies and sometimes they come in the shape of hearts and I just love those so <clears throat> I think a heart shape is a really really nice shape so here you go and notice it's a little bit bigger than my actual ornament why because um, we're going to cut it out and then once we sew um, um, once we stitch the ornament to, uh, together, uh, it will give us a little bit of kind of like a wiggle room to like trim it around if something wasn't stitched maybe just right or not as even. So always cut it a tiny bit bigger. Now the next step that you're going to do, of course, you're going to lay it down on your fabric, um, two pieces together, all right? And then you're going to pin it and then you're going to cut it out. Let's go ahead and do that. And then of course, what you can also do is you can embroider these, uh, you can personalize these, um, you can make these out of felt and then you can like uh, put um, some cute um, iron-on patches on them. Um, you can put, if you have Cricut uh, or anything, you know, anything fancy like that, you can do so many things with these. Um, and I, and I, I'm telling you, it's, it's a really good way how to make ornaments. Um, really cheap as well, uh, but also very practical and very beautiful. All right, you're going to cut out your fabric. All right, so step number one is done. Step number two is you want to make sure that you have this little hanger thing. You can use a piece of ribbon if you have. I don't. So all you gotta do is just take a piece of fabric and cut a strip, well, I would say, I don't know how long this thing is, 
and maybe like five inches, five inches long, just to be sure that it's long enough for us to tuck it inside and not worry about it popping out um, once we're sewing it all together. <clears throat> so five inches. And here's a little tip. If you are making multiple of these, just cut one prolonged uh, strip of fabric and then uh, make kind of like a spaghetti strap out of it, like you would do a, for a spaghetti strap. And then, um, according to how many ornaments you have, um, you're just going to cut it, um, you know, into as many pieces. Don't make every single little piece separately. You, you know, you're just going to waste a lot of time. <clears throat> Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these to the sewing machine, this one to the sewing machine. What you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half, like that, and then in half again, and we're going to make a kind of like a spaghetti strap out of it. So, so we're just going to fold it like, whoop, like this, and then we're going to stitch it, and of course we're going to tuck all the loose uh, loose threads inside just to make sure that it's nice and neat. All right, this is how it's going to look like once you are ready to stitch it together. So all you got to do is just stitch a straight line. So it's just a regular, simple, straight stitch. And then we're going to get back to the assembly of our ornament. All right, so we do have our little ribbon part or um, the hanger part assembled. Again, you can use ribbon. That is so much easier because then you just can skip the step. But I didn't have ribbon, so I made my own. All right, so this is done. What you're going to do next is you're going to get your ornament template. There we go. We're going to st start stitching from the bottom. So this is the place where you will need to leave it open so that you can stuff uh, the uh, stuffing inside, uh, the pillow stuffing or your little shredded um, shredded uh, pieces of fabric remnants instead, whatever, whatever you're using. All right, place this little ribbon or hanger thing inside and secure it with the pin needle. All right, so that way we know it's inside, it's secure. You can cut these little things off because they will be nice and secure on the inside so you don't have to do anything with them or worry about them, so you're all good. All right, so the next thing, I'm just going to pin around the edges. So that way, once I put my stuffing inside, it's not gonna run away from me. <laughs> there we go. And then guys, let me know in the, uh, uh, comments below if you do make your own Christmas ornaments uh, regardless if it's made out of fabric or if it's made out of any other material let me know what you make them out of and uh, if you do have a YouTube channel or Instagram just leave the link and I would be more than happy to check it out because uh, you know it's always nice to learn from all of the other people all the creative people um, around the world so I'm definitely Definitely enjoying the fact that internet gives you that of, of ability. All right, so the next thing that you're going to do, you're just gonna take these two bottom ones out uh, for the time being. Take a little bit of stuffing and stuff inside your little ornament. You can stitch it first and then stuff it. It's totally up to you. I kind of like to do it all in one. <laughs> so maybe I'm, I'm cheating just a tad bit. Um, but um, I like it to be quick and easy uh, but if you want to do it like step by step absolutely you can do that as well it's not I mean it's all up to you Wh whichever you feel more comfort comfortable with and then you're going to pin it shut just like that there we go Oop. there we go Oop, up, up. Just like that. All right. The next step that you're going to do is very easy. You're going to take it to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch around, starting from the bottom, just like I let you know. Starting from the bottom, you're going to stitch around in a straight stitch all the way around your heart ornament. And uh, after that, we'll be almost done. 
All right, this is the ornament that I have sewn and stitched together right now. And remember how I told you to leave a little bit extra room and cut the, the heart a little bit bigger so that we can actually cut away excess. So this is what we're going to do right now because obviously it's a little bit difficult to stitch something that's a little puffy, just like that. So let's get that done and our ornament will be ready to go on a Christmas tree. So first what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we want to pull all the threads to one side and tie them in a knot. You can of course use backstitch just like you would use on any other sewing project but I just think that it adds bulk and I just prefer doing this way um, and because uh, I just think it gives you a little bit more of a nicer nicer result. doesn't add all that bulk. There we go. I'm just going to tie a really nice little knot over here. There we go. Super duper. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, and then I'm just gonna trim the excess fabric around uh, just where I feel that maybe something didn't quite align or was a little bit more than I expected or maybe the sewing machine didn't want to pivot or <laughs> or work around the uh, curved edges, you know, it's, it's always hard to sew uh, curved edges. So definitely get, get yourself that extra wiggle room so that way you can work around it if needed so that you don't have to stress, you know, about, oh my God, oh my God, you know, something isn't quite right or something, you know, isn't quite um, aligning or anything like that. So... Definitely, definitely make your life a little bit easier that way. And of course, you know, uh, since you since we are making this out of cotton, uh, if you're not overworking the material, it's not going to fray as bad as, for example, silks or um, any sort of like a really, really thin fabrics would. And then you can puff it up a little bit, however you would like, if you feel that all the stuffing went to like one side or whatever. And that's it. Your ornament is ready. Look at this. How super cute. How so, well, this one turned out a little bit bigger than the other ones, but uh, I think it's going to look super cute on the Christmas tree. So um, let's go ahead and hang it on. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy more uh, Christmas DIY videos in the info box below. Definitely subscribe and check out other videos. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. It means a lot to me. And I hope you gained some uh, interesting um, ideas from this video. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.